Sweetheart. Come here. Dad's always down in the basement, ever since he lost his job. What does he do down there anyway? He's a botanist. He studies plants. I know that, but all the time? He wants to prove to the university that they made a mistake when they let him go. You know, it's never really fun to be fired. I know all that. I just think something's wrong. Something else. Like what? I don't know. We'll give him a chance, Margaret. It's a tough time for him. Everything's going to be fine. I'm counting on you two to take good care of your father. Now go get your dad. I don't want to be late for my plane. I love you. I love you too. Say hi to Aunt Eleanor for me. I will. Bye, Mom. Bye-bye, sweetheart. And Mom? Don't worry, I'll take good care of Dad. <laughs> oh, Margaret. I left Aunt Eleanor's number next to the phone in the kitchen. Okay, bye, Mom. Bye. Dad? <sighs> he never hears stuff when he's working. Dad? We're sorry, but Mom said to get you because she didn't want to be late. Look, kids, I'm sorry I raised my voice. I just don't want you down in the basement. Okay, now, come on, walk me outside, okay? Okay, now, kids, don't forget what I said about the basement. Why is he so freaked about the basement? Because he doesn't want us messing with his work. Coming from the basement. Sounds like like an animal. Like it's hurt or something. We have to go down there. But Dad said that. I know what Dad said, but what happens if there is an animal and it's like a stray cat or something and it's suffering? We have to go down here. We? We'll just take a little peek. Make sure nothing's wrong. It's so hot in here. How can that stand it? Shh. Do you hear it? I'm not sure. Whoa. It's like a jungle. I can hardly breathe. Listen, it sounds like the plants are breathing. Dad's doing the rainforest. I'm studying it in school. Casey, let's get out of
What are you doing? That plant just grabbed me. Come on, plants don't grab people. What happened to your finger? I pricked it on one of the thorns. We heard some noises, like someone was crying. Did you go into the basement? We were scared. The noises were, were strange and... No. Did you go into the basement? Yes. We didn't touch anything. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. Kids okay? Yeah. If I explain to you what I'm doing in the basement, will do you feel better? I would. Okay, now, I'm gonna try to explain this to you as simply as possible. Botanists often try to take good qualities from some plants and put them into another. And that's what you're doing? No, 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 no. I'm doing something a little bit more unusual. I can't tell you what it is right now, okay? Okay. Maybe you could tell us later. Yeah, well, maybe. Hey, um, Mom rented us movies. I could make some popcorn and we could stay up late and watch them all. Uh, no, 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 I have a lot of work to do. Uh, maybe some other time. Something's not right. We shouldn't have gone down there. Don't you dare. That's for Dad. There's some more in the pan. Dad, breakfast is ready. Dad, breakfast. You want to go outside and play catch? 
You know how dad is when he's working? Yeah, weird. He's not weird. It's just that his work is more important than breakfast, that's all. He'll eat it when he's ready. See, I told you. Well, I'm going outside to play. Made you some breakfast. I'm not hungry. I saw him. He was eating it. I'm sure it has something to do with his work. But the way he looked. He always gets wrapped up in his experiments. Don't worry. How's Casey? He's OK. He's out in the yard playing. Mom, when are you coming home? Aunt Eleanor's just recovering from her surgery. She still needs me. Mom, I can't explain it. But I've just got this really bad feeling about Jack. Hi, honey. Everything OK? Oh, that's a shame. Margaret? Yes. You're right. I should spend more time with her. Absolutely, you're right. We miss you. I will. Bye. I hope Aunt Eleanor starts feeling better. I'm scared, Casey. I saw something last night. 
Dad cut his arm, and this green stuff was oozing out of it. Mm, you're nuts. And he was talking to himself, and he had leaves growing out of his head. <sighs> cut it out. I'm not kidding, Casey. You want to know what I think? No, what? I think Dad's a mad scientist. Margaret, Casey, come here, kids. Hey, have a seat. It's almost ready. Coming right up, two of Dad's specials. Uh, hey, Dad, what's with the cat? I thought you hated baseball. So I guess you kids think that your old dad's acting pretty darn weird, huh? There's something wrong, Margaret. Something bothering you? Come on, talk to me. I saw you last night. In the bathroom. Spying on me? No. I mean that... No. You're just... concerned about me. Right? Dad, why are leaves growing out of your head? Well, that's... just a side effect. It's only temporary. It'll go away soon and my hair will grow back. That's why I'm wearing this cap. Why was there green stuff coming out of your cut? Well, uh, that wasn't coming out of my cut. That was fluid that comes from the leaves. Now, I'm working on something that is very, very unusual. I'm trying to build a plant that is part animal. You mean you're taking animal cells and putting them in a plant? I can't say anymore. How about some breakfast? Eat. Um, what is it? It's my special recipe. Go ahead. Dig in. Doesn't smell so good. It'll taste just fine. What's the matter with you two? Pick up your spoons and eat it. I expect those bowls to be empty. Dr. Merritt, what are you doing here? Watch for Dad. Well, as I said a few weeks ago, I've come by and check on how your work's coming, and I was tired of it. hurry! Oh, I'll just take a quick look. You know, I've always supported your work. It wasn't my idea to let you go. The board forced me. But I'm not giving up yet. So, now let's see what kind of progress you've made. Oh, hi guys. How are you? Have you finished your breakfast? Yeah, it was pretty good. Look, I'll, I'll just be down there, okay? Uh, um, I want you kids to go outside and play. I don't believe anything Dad says anymore. At least Dad told us about his experiments. Yeah, but what about that gross junk he tried to make us eat? Good one. Dr. Merrick, if you would have backed me when I brought in my numbers. I tried. They were good numbers. They, they were very, very good numbers. But number university oh. never got behind. Casey! Me. I was always trying to make a case. Dr. Brewer, all by myself. Listen, I can get it. I don't need to be mad. You're a shame with numbers. I don't need to be mad. I know what I'm mad. I don't know what I'm mad. Funny. Help me, I'm oh, 
hiding. Who? I don't know, Dad, I guess, and Dr. Merritt in the basement. Uh, are you sure? I couldn't see, but I heard them. Then that thing got me. <gasps> what are you doing? That plant tried to choke me. You shouldn't have been near the window. Well, Casey heard a fight in the basement. There was no fight. But I heard it. I'm telling you, there was no fight. Where's Dr. Merrick? Just left. I didn't see him leave. Are you interrogating me, Margaret? No. Now you tell me, what were you doing next to the basement window? I was playing like you told me to. Did you put him up to this, Margaret? Is this some more of your spying? We were playing. What about that plan? It's part of my work. Work that you've now disrupted. You're not a mad scientist, are you, Dad? No, I'm an angry scientist. Now, both of you, up to your rooms. But we could have sworn we heard it. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, but... Go! What's that noise? I put locks on the basement windows from the inside, so don't try getting in through there either. Stop gawking at me. I'm going out for a little while. I'll be back in a couple of hours. I'm calling Mom. I can't believe it. It was a white piece of paper with Aunt Eleanor's phone number on it was sitting right here on the counter. What do you think happened to it? I think Dad took it. He didn't want us to call Mom. That's crazy. So it's leaves growing out of your head and green gunk coming out of your arm, and also eating plant food and trying to make us eat it, and lying about Dr. Merrick. Why do you think he's lying about Dr. Merrick? He said Dr. Merrick left. Did you see him leave? <sighs> what are you saying? You think Dad's done something to Dr. Merrick? I don't know, Casey. W what are you saying? I'm saying it's possible. No, it isn't. He's our dad. Where are you going? If dad took the number, it might be in his room. You're going in his room? You want to talk to mom, don't you?
what? Come on, let's go. Don't answer it. Why not? I don't know. Well, it might be Mom. Hi, you've reached the Brewer family. At the tone, please leave a message, and we'll be sure to get back to you. Hi, this is Gloria Merrick, Dr. Merrick's wife. I was wondering if my husband was there. I'm a little worried. He was supposed to be home hours ago. If you hear from him or you know where he is, could you please call me at 555-0101? Thank you. I don't like this, Casey. I don't like it one bit. Dad! Hi, you've reached the Brewer family. At the tone, please leave a message. I'll be sure to get back to you. He's coming! He's coming! Hi, you've reached the Brewer family. At the tone. Hi, Dad. What are you doing out of your room? I, um, needed to go to the bathroom. Where's Margaret? She's in her room. Did you go in my room? No. Okay, I forgot something. I have to go back out. I want you back in your room. Is that clear? Casey? Yes, Dad? I'll be back in an hour. Okay, Dad. Stay in your room while I'm... Yes, Dad. You too, Margaret. You were great. He seemed so angry, Margaret. He hit Dr. Mary's wallet. He dropped it and I saw it. What are you looking at? something under these covers. What? feeling the truth is in the basement. For anything we can use to protect ourselves, who knows what those plants can do? Look, weed killer. One. <clears throat>
Let's go. bunch of normal plants. Then what were... Sounds. <laughs> Dad? It's Dad! That's not Dad! No, stop! Casey, let go of me! What's wrong with you? It's Dad! It can't be Dad! Dad left, remember? I've got to untie him. No, look at his head. We already saw that! Remember, it's a side effect. <sighs> no, don't. Okay. I, I won't on time. I'll just take mm -hmm. the tape off his mouth. Mm -hmm. okay? mm -hmm. <gasps> <gasps> kids. It's so good to see you. Not quick. On time. Uh, how'd you get in there? I thought you left. No, that wasn't me. I've been locked up in that closet for days. Huh? But how? We saw you. You. No. It wasn't me. It's a plant. It's a plant copy of me. Wait. Look, I have no time to explain. Just on timing. Quick. You're saying the father we've been living with is a plant? Yes. Just on timing. How do we know you're telling the truth? I'll explain later. Okay, I promise. I'm untying him. Oh, yes. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh. your dad. He's not even human. He's a plant. You're the plant. No. He's lying. He's a copy. He's a plant copy. One of my experiments that went wrong. I put him in there because he's dangerous. I'll spray him. No. He's the copy. He's the dangerous one. He's trying to make plant copies of us all. Spray him! Give me that! Get back, both of you! Margaret, listen to me. He'll destroy us all. He had me locked up. But I escaped. You're a liar. He was the one 
that try to feed you the food. He attacked Merrick. No, that's not true. He has Merrick locked up in the other cupboard. Don't listen to him. Attack him. Now. Before it's too late. Destroy him. Please. Princess. Princess. one person who calls me princess. My real dad. We can study these better at the university lab. Oh, by the way, the board wants to know when you can come back. Full time. Well, as soon as I get over all these side effects. <laughs> uh, listen, I appreciate everything that you've done for me. Oh, and I appreciate you getting me out of that closet. Well, I should thank Margaret and Casey for that. I still don't understand how the whole thing started. Well, it was an accident. I cut my hand on a slide, and some of my blood mixed in with some plant molecules, and I ended up with something that was part plant and part human. You never told me any of this. Yeah, I know I should have. But I was wrapped up in my work. Then I went too far. I created a plant that was an exact copy of me. You accept that it was evil. Well, to us, yes, but like most organisms, it wanted to dominate its environment. It overpowered me. And I think that it wanted to make plant copies of us all. Oh, man! You know, when Aunt Eleanor was getting better, she asked me about you two. I said you were both growing like weeds. I never realized how close to the truth I almost was. Well, I'm just glad we're all okay. And all human. <laughs> Listen, I'll uh, call you tomorrow, Dr. Brewer. Okay, thank you. Okay. Listen, anybody for lunch, I got a great mixed salad and some garden vegetables. Oh. No, no, I'm only kidding. I got a hamburgers for everybody. Let's go. Let's go. I'll be right there. Margaret. Margaret, help me. Please help me. I'm your father. I'm your real father. Real father. Oh, I'm your father. No, I'm your father. I'm your father. I'm your father. I'm your father. No, I'm your father. No, he isn't. I'm your father. I'm your father.